Ron Weasley. That's me. If Cho Chang and Ron Weasley had a baby. See, I knew this costume would be useful one day. And today is that day. Ah! I am giving Christian Girl Autumn. Today I am dyeing my hair for the very first time. This hair, just like me, virgin. I already decided on the color I'm doing, which is a dark ginger. I've been telling myself for the longest time that I was gonna dye my hair, but I was just putting it off because I had to move and then settle in. And also I didn't wanna dye my hair before moving. If I wanted to like touch it up or something, I wanna be able to go to the same hairstylist. And also I already know her and I know she'll do a good job. And I know I'll feel comfortable with her not only dyeing my hair, but also being able to vlog and everything. Here are my references, by the way, yes. I am my own reference, as I should be. I ended up just using an Instagram filter to see if I would look good as a ginger or not. I feel like a lot of people were dyeing their hair ginger a few months back and it was like very trendy and I'm kind of like late to the game, but I'm kind of glad I waited because now I know I actually want to do it and not just because it was trendy. Not to mention this was something I could not just impulsively do because I am getting it professionally done. So it is expensive and also it's my hair. It's very much so like an important attribute to me, I'm a little bit nervous because I never imagined myself dyeing my hair before just because I never thought it would look good on me. I really like natural hair colors, but I thought, eh, might as well just do it. I'm young, YOLO, and it's fall time, dyeing my hair orange. And also I know it will probably end up looking good because I am my own reference. So as long as it turns out like the photo, it will look good. Hopefully. My parking garage for my apartment is so dark. It's okay, it's not that scary because it's pretty small. It's not like a huge parking garage. And also, if someone were to rob me, what are they gonna steal? The $2 in my wallet? What would I even do in that situation? Like they'd rob me and I'd be like, I literally have nothing to give you. Like, do you want me to Venmo you? Zell, maybe? What am I gonna be for Halloween this year? I'm gonna have red hair or ginger orange hair. And I feel like I should center my Halloween costume around that. Poison Ivy. A little basic. But that could be hot. We have arrived. I have my tote bag with all my things that will keep me occupied for the next five hours because apparently that's how long this process is going to take. Oh, also I'm getting a haircut as well. We're doing a shag mullet type beat. Once again, that's kind of the style I still like. Except this time, I'm going to get it professionally cut and not by my mom. My mom has been cutting my hair all my life, basically. Occasionally, I'll go to a super cuts. She does have a beauty license and everything, but it isn't the same when your mom cuts it, you know? Okay, we're gonna go. Wish me luck. Yeah, she's Scottish or something. <laughs> Meredith, something like that. <laughs> that movie was good. I feel like it's kind of underrated. Her mom turns into a bear. Perfect, being Meredith, and then you just need a friend to be a bear. I don't have friends. We discussed this. <laughs> like I've never bear. been able to do a group costume. Hmm. That's your most drawn to. Yes. I think this one's the most similar to the photo. Yeah, I think a little lighter though. Cause I like the idea of having it feel dimensional too. Like maybe we can do this yeah. color right at the roots and then kind of like layer in these two. I just wanted to see like which one you're the most drawn yeah. to. But I'm kind of surprised that you were really drawn to this one. Like, I think it's just cause bright. it's so obviously orange. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever will turn out like this. Okay. <laughs> Me, what's my magic? 
Oh my gosh, this is gonna tickle. <laughs> it is blonde, I feel like. Uh, yeah, there's blonde. like parts of it in the middle that are pretty blonde. Holy, oh my god. This is crazy. What's going on? <laughs> so we're gonna do two different formulas. We're gonna do one on your roots, that's a little bit darker. And then we're gonna comb it in and blend it into a little bit brighter and color. So this is the root color right here. Okay. Starting to oxidize. I would do those things where you like tag people on who they are. Yeah. Photos. And then my cousins would get so annoyed. They're like, stop. Stop, you're six years old. Yeah, they're like, please stop tagging us. And I'm like, I don't want to. And then they would just unadd me and block me. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's like, they just make fun of me so much. Look at me now, bitches. I make videos of myself and I get paid. <laughs> we got it all in. Now we're waiting for a few minutes. I'm excited. Wow. <laughs> I don't have dark black hair. I know, for the first time. Oh my gosh, it is so orange. It reminds me of like Zendaya when she oh had her hair that color. Totally. Holy shit. I'm ginger. I was afraid it's gonna turn out like not, not ginger. <laughs> but no, it's ginger. You ginger. You do look tan, don't you? I think so. I think I'll look at it. Okay, okay. 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 Oh my god! Dude, it's so vibrant too. So it's like, cute. I feel like my hair is glowing. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is so, I have to do a Halloween costume yeah, to this, like. This is gonna be so different. <laughs> it's like hard to tell because like I've never seen a photo reference of a ginger, a ginger shag. shag. <laughs> You're gonna be the photo reference. <laughs> Hair companies, we're gonna need y'all to come through. <laughs> Email me at dustin at slash management. <laughs> Like if I was wearing like a cool, badass outfit, like this would fit the vibe. I'm like a mom <laughs> down here. What about just with the tank top? Okay, I'm feeling it. Yeah. I, I think it was the start. cardigan. I felt like an English teacher. And like I said, you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you text me and you're like, okay, I need to do this, I need to change this. We'll figure it out. I just want you to feel sexy. I feel like my roommate's not even gonna recognize me. Oh my what do you god. Think? You look so different. I know. Oh, you look like a completely different person. I know! That's exactly what I told her. I'm like, my room's gonna be like, who is this? Wait, you look like a character from like a movie. Wait, it's a look though. Okay. I'm kind of feeling it, I think. I'm, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to this. Because it's just so much. It's just so, so much. I don't know. 
I've literally been like staring at myself for the past few hours since I've gotten home and just like screaming. It's just like a really big drastic change where I cannot tell if I like it or not. Not only did I get a drastic color change, but I also got kind of a drastic haircut as well because my hair is a lot shorter than it was before. That's a lot of change, especially when my hair is like a big part of my look and my identity. I look at myself and I'm like, it doesn't look ugly. Like I don't look bad. I can definitely pull this off. And that's not even me tuning my own form. Although too, too, it's so good. But why do I feel so conflicted? It's so vibrant. What am I complaining about right now? Oh no, it looks good. Oh my god, it's so, it's too vibrant. It looks so vibrant and good. I think I'm just having an identity crisis right now. Yeah, I hope people don't call me and be like, oh my god, you look like literally Ronald McDonald. You look like ba 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 I'm loving it. That's what you look like. I'm nervous. Ah. I think I was expecting like a less vibrant and more natural looking color but then again it's fresh this is literally freshly dyed so it's gonna die down it's gonna... i think i'm getting used to it though cut to me two days later guys i fucking love it i think it's growing on me i think i like it it is now the next day and I put on an outfit and got dressed up to kind of see how everything would look all together. I went for a more edgy look like with the leather jacket and everything and I'm wearing this blue wool sweater and the blue and the orange kind of help contrast and make each other pop because you know opposites on the color wheel, color theory. Come on art classes I took in high school, come through. I think with this outfit the hair works, but the thing is, is I don't dress like this every day. I'm not a very edgy person. The extent of my edginess is I wear leather jackets sometimes. I don't know how well my hair is gonna fit with my other clothes and wardrobe, but I'm gonna figure it out. And when I woke up, I didn't even have to style my hair because it was still like this and pretty good. That was great, that's never happened to me before. I cannot deny it. My hair looks pretty. It's shiny, the color is beautiful. I I can't even lie. I think it's just gonna take me a bit of time to get used to it. I still have not even washed it yet. It might dull down and that'll probably help me get used to it more. I feel like a more natural orangey color would help me adjust because this is so like, it's given Haley Williams from Paramore, which we love Haley Williams. We really do. Rock on. Rock on. Getting hot. Ugh. Also, I probably have to go back in a few weeks anyways to get it touched up. So if I want to tone down then, I could do that. So really, not a big deal. I think I'm just going to rock this for a while. <sighs> okay. Another, another day, day, another, another slay. slay. Period. Are we singing the outro song right now? Yeah? Okay. Was it something I said? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>